Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we're gonna look at how you can install the SimBridge uh, from uh, Fly by Wire, which has been released yesterday as part of the uh, latest installation. And the installation is pretty easy, right? Because you can see uh, the normal aircrafts like the Fly by Wire A32NX and the uh, Salty 747 uh, are displayed here. So you can simply update them. And once you've done that, or once you try to do that for the A32NX, you will get this window. And it says, hey, if you want to use the, uh, I would say, external remote tools like the uh, web MCDU, right? Which means that you can use the, for example, a tablet or uh, another device to connect to the MCDU, uh, but also connect to an external terrain database, then you need to install the SimBridge uh, tool, which is now a hard requirement. So. If you click yes, it will simply install it, right? So it will download the full module and then we'll install it. Of course, there's also an option here to install it and you can see that it's currently installing the module. Uh, once it's done, you can go to the documentation and if you go to the documentation, you will find a lot of information uh, about how to use it. Uh, so it's, I would say it's really cool. Uh, the installation itself doesn't take too much time, to be honest. So let's, let's wait a few minutes and then uh, and see what's going on. If you're wondering what's being fixed, you can always check the re release notes, right? But those release notes are, I would say, applicable to the aircraft itself and not to the, uh, I'd say, not to the uh, sim uh, bridge itself. So by default, when the installation is complete, sim bridge will install or auto start, right? Which means that if you log into Windows, it will automatically start and you can disable it by setting this option. And in this case, I will on set that option because I think it's very useful. Uh, it could be very useful for other, I would say, solutions also to auto start and to connect. For example, I'm using the Turtle Beach Velocity 1, which also has a tool to, I would say, make sure that the lights are burning on front of the, uh, I would say, dock. But that one needs to be enabled each time and you need to select three options each time. That's, I would say, not really user friendly. Right, so once you've installed it, uh, you won't see much uh, other than uh, that the application is being installed as far as I figured out. So let's have a look at what has been installed, right? If we go to uh, services, I would expect it to be uh, listed there somehow, uh, but maybe it isn't uh, because I'm not sure if it's installed as a service. I don't see it here, but then we go to the task manager and then go to the uh, startup section. Uh, let's see if we can find the item here. Simbridge, Simbridge. Uh, it's also not here. That's, I'd say, kind of weird. I would have expected it uh, to be available here, uh, but it doesn't look like. Uh, normally, when you would install these kind of tools, which are automatically starting, they will show up in the startup section of your task manager, and then they will wait out of start at once uh, you log into your system. Now you might wonder, hey, where is the tool then installed? Because it's not listed here. Where is it? Well, I get some good news for you because I figured it out. So I need to go to my community folder, and inside the community folder, you need to go into the a fly by wire external tool simbridge which contains the information right it contains the note the resource the terrain and the tray bin and it also contains the fly by wire simbridge uh and of course the license so it's uh an application which is separate right it's a separate ap application normally it will i would say you need to download manually and then you could use it but for now it will contain everything including the the modules which are required uh, the resources which are required and also the uh, terrain map and the uh, tray bin. And the tray bin is simply right if I would uh, start it like now, uh, it would start and say, then it warns me because it's the first time I'm running it. Uh, make sure that you only select the private network, such as my home network, to prevent that uh, I would say unwanted people are connecting to it because it's a web service. And then if you look here in the corner, you will figure out there's here's the SimBrief or SimBridge, sorry. You can open a resource folder, which will open the uh, resource folder, which is this folder, right? It, open, it opens it up in a new folder. Then you can find uh, co routes, images, logs, uh, PDFs. I'm not sure where all these kind of things are used for. There's also Sumatra PDF uh, uh, tool here, which looks like to do something with, with PDF, but that's something which we need to figure out. And you can see the uh, remote displays, right? So you can click on it and then say open MCDU. In this case, it will open the MCDU. 
and will show you the port on which it's running. In this case, it won't show anything because uh, Flight Simulator is not started. If Flight Simulator would have been started, you would have seen that it would be displayed uh, all the data here and the ability to click on the several options. So a nice option which they integrated now into the installer of uh, Fly-by-Wire. So make sure that you install the latest version of Fly-by-Wire installer. If you didn't install it, you will see, I would say, a notification here on the top to update it. Then simply update it and then once that has been done, you should be able to see the, the SimBridge uh, version here. You can also see that it's currently uh, running, right? And you, we're currently running the release version, so there's no development version, etc. Uh, if you want to stop it, you can uh, do it using this tool and you can also change the auto start option to disabled if you want to change it from here. The good thing is that if you uh, now go to the release notes, you're able to see, okay, hey, what were the release notes or what were the releases which were released prior to this version? And also, I would say, handle ser uh, several uh options like uh, which port does need to be running and does the printer needs to be enabled in case if you enable a printer right which allows you to print the uh, content from the mcu for example if you uh, request a meter data you can print it to a real printer uh, that's also kind of cool didn't try it but you can do it and that's uh, how you can manage this tool also if you're fed up about the tool which i can't imagine you can still uninstall it using this option so be aware, by default it will auto start. Uh, if it doesn't auto start, or if you disable this option, you need to manually start it using these options, right? Because I can still say uh, stop. And uh, hopefully it will also change to start. Yes, now it says not running and I can click start. And then it will simply start the tool, right? So don't expect anything to be available in the services. It looks like it's doing it a little bit differently. And that's something uh, which you can easily manipulate by uh, changing the option over here. So here ends this how-to. In this how-to, we looked at how to install the latest version of SimBridge, which is now integrated in the fly-by-wire installer, and also looked at some new options which are available. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.